he and I started writing together at the same time in high school, and um, and then stopped for a while, and then and then at some point out of high school, he started writing poems again, and he was getting together with a friend of ours, Carl Adamschick, who's an amazing poet, and. Um, Carl was older, so he would buy the beer, and then they would get together, have a couple beers, and exchange poems. And I thought this was so great. I started writing with him again. And so Matthew and I, we've been very lucky as twins. I have friends who are twins who, um, if they were here right now, like within five minutes, they would, we'd call the police, because they'd be like <laughs> pounding each other, literally pounding each other. And, um, <laughs> and a lot of twins that I've met have worked very hard to make sure they go in opposite directions. And Matthew's and my poems are drastically different, but we've always um, we've always been very close, and and so we've always exchanged work, and um, and we're both able somehow with each other to be both ruthless and also to try to take the poem on its own terms, and I don't try to make Matthew's poems into depressing lyric utterances, and he doesn't try to make mine into celebratory um, Whitman-esque poems about <laughs> sex, so, well, you know, it's like a good, it's a good, it's a good thing. Are you fraternal? We're identical. We're identical. We were breach and transverse to, to, my, to my mother's great chagrin. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and there was a C-section, and I was, I was the, I was in more trouble. So I was, so I'm older. <laughs> Although he's taller. Uh, so, but. Thank you. Sure, thank you. You want it? No. This is the T-shirt. Forgive me. Okay. Any more questions? Two more. Um, what would you say your poets that have influenced your writing? I'm sorry, say again. Could you name a couple of poets who have influenced your writing? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I studied with Robert Lowell, mm -hmm. and uh, in, in the seminar, though not in my class, but in the same seminar were Sylvia Plath and Anne Sexton. Mm -hmm. I never knew Plath, but Anne Sexton became a friend through my very good friend, uh, Maxine Cuman. Mm -hmm. So, and Maxine Cuman has many, many students who are very close friends of mine. Robin Becker, for example, Carol Simmons Oles. And, um, and, and it, so my generation uh, grew up in Boston with all of those uh, difficult women who, be, who became poets. And, uh, and, and being part of that matrix has made a difference to me. Although my human experience has been very different from theirs as their experience is different from each other. So, but I can, but as I have to tell you, I love the work of Alicia Osterecker. As the editor of a major literary journal, I am in constant contact with the texts that contemporary poets are writing, and, and today has been a wonderful experience for me to, um, to move into the next generation, as I do all the time. And of course, this generation influences me profoundly, as I hope I influence them. What tips have you offered to become a better poet? It, it, work, work, work collaboratively. Do exactly what we did this morning. Uh, I felt renewed and inspired by the work we did together. And find writing partners. Come here. You're so lucky. Maria has made this space for you. And uh, do it. Come here often and, and write with your friends. Any books that you read? Um, I think the more poetry you read, the better. And you, address what, what books to read. Just, I would, you know, um, I would just go to, I mean, what I, I would, would go to bookstores and, and libraries and then just blindly pick things off the shelf. And then when something, when I liked something, um, I, would, I would see if there was, sometimes they have quotes on the back from other writers. And then I would go and get their books. Mm -hmm. And then anything, Anything that anybody ever told me to read that was poetry, I would go, I would go and read it. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the books are little, so they don't take long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and journals. Yeah, there are some amazing journals out there, um, and that's also a really great way to. Um, they're like mini anthologies, you know. So that's a great way to get to look at a, a lot of people's work in one little, in one little volume. Yeah. How many pages do you usually put together for a book? 
it depends on the 